Hey everyone, this is my first update or my January 20th update for the Finish 7 by Spring Challenge. And I checked and I posted um, the original video when I like kicked off the challenge on January 1st. So it hasn't quite been three weeks, um, but I have made some progress with some products more progress than others, but I think these um, like check-ins are good because it really makes you see, you know, like what products you're gonna have to work more on to be able to finish by March 20th, which ones won't probably won't be a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through everything and show you my progress. So the first items that I had shown. Um, or these sheet masks. I have three of them. They're like Korean sheet masks. And my plan with these, since this project is about three months long, was to use one per month. Um, so I did use up the green tea one. And I have two left, so I'm right on track with my plans for these. And I used the green tea one. I mean, I don't really know... Like, if these do a whole lot, I guess they're like any mask, you, I mean, you don't really know if they do a whole lot, honestly. But this was nice. Um, you have to leave it on your, or you're supposed to leave it on your skin for 20 to 30 minutes. And I just liked the relaxing part of it because since it is a sheet mask, you don't, you can't really do anything but just like kind of lay back and like let it sit on your face. Um, but I just found it kind of relaxing and it kind of, force myself to just like lay down and like not do anything for 30 minutes. So I did like this um, and I can't wait to use the other two. So I'm going well with the first item. My second item were these Bosha, um, I have two of them counting as one, um, the black luminizing mask and the white, bright white mask. I know I've used the <laughs> white mask at least once. I'm not sure if I've used these like together more than once. Um, I really have to get into the habit of using um, one of these masks like once a week and maybe alternating like use a black mask one week and the white mask the next week. Um, I haven't really gotten into that habit. Honestly, I've kind of forgotten about these. Um, but for both of them, I feel like maybe the white mask could have a use or maybe two uses and the same for the black mask. So um, I'm not really sure. Hopefully by the next update I'll at least have finished one of these, but I definitely need to start using these more often to be able to finish them um, by spring. Um, the next item I'm almost finished with, this is the Juice Beauty um, Green Apple Peel Mask. I think that's part of my problem is I have like a lot of mask and skincare items in this challenge, so I think that's why I wasn't really using these, but I have like one use left of this. So with here I started, if you can see this little mark, um, I had about half of the product um, left. Now, if you can see, I just have a very thin layer on the bottom. Um, it's about enough for one application. It might not even be enough for one application. So this definitely is like one use and it will be done. So this one I'm not worried about at all. This one's almost finished. Um, the next item is also skincare. This is the Suki Face Exfoliant. So this, you can see my mark. I was here and now I'm down to here. So this definitely um, probably won't even take maybe like an, another month or maybe not even another month. I've been keeping this in my shower and you can use it, it says in the packaging, you can use it two to three times a week. So having it in my shower has been really help for, helpful for me because I don't have to think, um, like take it with me when I'm taking a shower, it's already there and then I can just use it, you know, like every other day or a little less than every other day, a few times a week. Um, but having it in the shower has been really helpful with using that product and I think Usually I keep all my exfoliants like in my bathroom cabinet and I totally forget to use them. But I think if I would have had this in the, my shower to begin with, I would have already used it up by now. But um, this I think will be no problem to use up by spring. 
My next items are my perfumes, my Harajuku lovers. Blah! I'm <laughs> like, throw it. Oh my gosh. Okay, perfumes and music in G. So, I don't know if you can see. I tried to make marks. The marks are kind of hard because you have to like hold it super even. But I have just a little, little bit of G left. It's really hard to spray out of the bottle. I'm, I keep trying to use it. I mean, I do get product out, but it's really hard for perfume to use up that last little bit. Um, but I'm still trying to use this up, and then I'm mixing it with music. So music, um, you can see like where the mark where I started was and where I am now. Um... Hopefully I can use this up in two months. I really, really want to use these up because I've had them for a long time. And they haven't gone bad yet. They still smell nice, but they're just scents that aren't my favorites anymore. <laughs> I just would rather use other things. Like for Christmas, I got that perfume sampler from Sephora. I'm waiting um, on redeeming the full-size perfume. I haven't even decided what perfume I want to get with that yet. But I really want to use these up. Because I know if I get a new perfume that I'll be too tempted to want to use it and I won't want to use these. So I really want to use these up pretty quickly and hopefully I'll be able to use these up by spring. But I'm wearing these every day. Um, there was a little point when I was sick um, in January where I like didn't even want to wear perfume. But every day where I'm wearing perfume, which is most days, I have been wearing these. So still working on those. The next item I did finish, so good good progress here, but this is the London Tulips and Raspberry Tea, tea Triple Moisture Body Cream. Um, this I cut into to get all of the product. I mean, this smells really good. I just really prefer the Body Shop Body Butters over this, and I had had this since, like, last spring. That's why I put it in this project, just because it had been taking me so long to finish this, but um, it was no problem for me to finish this up. It actually, I didn't have a lot of uses left, um, but I'm glad that this is finished. And then my last item is the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Foot Cream. This one, I have about this much product left, so I still have quite a bit of product. Honestly, with this one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this up. <clears throat> I don't really like the foot cream. Like, it's really super greasy, and the thing I don't like about it is that it's like re gets really greasy all over my hands. I haven't really used any other foot creams to know if all foot creams are like that or if this one is really super greasy or if they're all really super greasy. But I would actually prefer to use a foot cream that like I could also use on my hands that wouldn't be like super greasy on my hands. But I've been trying to use this, but I definitely haven't been using it every day. So we'll have to see about how much progress I can make with this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to actually use this one up by spring. I also have this in my products I want to use up by 2015 or by the end of 2015. Um, so maybe this will take me a little longer than to spring, but we'll, we'll see. I'll keep working on it, but I, just, I can't make myself use it every day. But anyway, that is my update for these products. I think most of them... I'll be able to use up really the only one that I'm questioning if I'm going to be able to use up is this true blue spot um, and maybe this perfume in music I really hope I can use this up um, but we'll just have to see but yeah that is my update and thanks for watching bye